Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Got a little tail light mod I'm going to do to the back of the new Toyota Tacoma. But before we get to that, I discovered something recently, honestly, I didn't even realize. Somebody asked me a question on the channel, what is the connectivity kit? When I ran through the sticker, I mentioned there was a connectivity kit, and I guess it didn't really register with me. So we're going to go ahead and pop this puppy open. By the way, here is the mod for today. We're going to get to that in just a minute. But this is the connectivity kit, and I do have one left over, so you can see how useful it is. It's never been opened uh, from the last Tacoma I had. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pop this one open. It's a, a new orange color. But before we do that, what did this thing cost me? Looking back at the sticker, you can see right here, connectivity kit, $75. So what did I get for $75? Well, let's go ahead, pop this thing open, see what it's about. It is uh, hermetically sealed for your protection, I guess. And let's see what's actually in this thing. First of all, well, we have a reference guide. Um, hopefully it's not that complicated. I can't imagine it is. Next up, cable. We have a cable. It's like a USB on one side and then uh, I believe for my iPhone on the other side. Looks like it'll fit the iPhone, I think. Uh, so we have that. Then we have another one. Um, okay, they give you different ones, it looks like, depending on what kind of phone you have. iPhone, Android, iPad, who knows, whatever. There's more. Let's see. Here we have an adapter. This plugs into the auxiliary power outlet, or what used to be known as a cigarette lighter. There's something else in here. <laughs> we have another jack. So this one uh, appears to be, let's see, appears to be the same as this one, I think. And it is. These are the same. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not, but they are the same. So you get, or no, they're not. Let me back up. It has two different ends on it. So one that you can plug into an adapter. So that's it. Nothing else in here. What you get are three cables and an adapter. 75 bucks for this. I think I'd have rather passed. I can use my own cables. I don't really need this. But anyway, 75 bucks for that stuff. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to unbox this mod and uh, get it installed on the truck. What is it? Well, you get some uh, thank you for your purchases. No big deal. Comes from Diode Dynamics, by the way. You guys can see right there. And it is a hitch light backup light, if you will. That's what I'm using it for. And I think that is its intended purpose. So let's go ahead, pull it out of here. More tape, more sealing. There we go. What do you actually get? Well, a lot of packaging, that's for sure. Don't need that. We get uh, this little instruction manual, it looks like. Does it actually come with instructions? It does. It comes with instructions, tells you how to, to hook it up. It's pretty easy. It just plugs into your existing hitch underneath your hitch wiring, underneath the truck, and then it fits into your existing hitch receiver. This is what it looks like. This is what plugs in behind the receiver under the truck and then plugs into the light in the other side of the receiver. So this is just kind of like a, oh, an intermediate piece between the two. Now, one thing I do want to mention before I show you the light, it has this wire sticking out here. It looks kind of funky on there, right? Well, there's a purpose for this. You can cut that wire and if you do, let's see, what does that allow you to have? It says here, the model includes a safety strobe feature. That means when you push on the brake, it's going to strobe. I think it's three times or something like that. We'll find out when we get it hooked up. But it says it provides extra blinking uh, of the high power red LED rapidly for the first time the brakes are applied. So you touch the brakes, it rapidly blinks. If you do not want it to do that, then you cut this purple wire. I do want it to do that, so we're going to leave it alone. 
Also comes with, uh, I don't know, some kind of tie. I don't know what you use this for. Maybe if you have some bread around the house or something. And then a uh, zip tie also to secure the wiring. And lastly, uh, the guts of the whole unit, of course, is the light itself. This is what it looks like. It is LED. Should be pretty cool in there. And it has these little tabs here that hold it into the receiver. You can also remove these tabs and slip a hitch pin through something just like this uh, to hold it into the receiver so that somebody can't steal it. I don't know why anybody would even think of messing with it, to be honest, but probably something I will do. And that's it. So we need to go ahead, crawl underneath the truck and get it installed. Okay, we're under the truck and what you want to disconnect is right here. And there should be, I think, two little push areas, one on each side that you kind of squeeze, I think. Maybe pull this off somehow. Let's give it a try, see how it works. Well, that was pretty simple. And drip water, of course, because the truck uh, has a lot of condensation on it. So hopefully there's no water inside. That would be bad. Make sure it's all dried off. I don't see any water in it. I think it was just around the edge. But we'll wipe it uh, just to be sure. Obviously, you don't want water in there. I don't feel anything. So there's the uh, plug-in. So now you want to grab the uh, wiring harness that they give or provide. And got to figure out which one goes where. I believe this end is going to go into... Uh, the part that you just pulled, I think, let's see, no, it actually looks like the other end. Yeah, it's the bigger end right there. Uh, it's going to plug in. So, you heard it click, that's pretty simple. And then, we have to feed this part into the bigger part up here, I believe. Let's see, Let me get it the right way. And I have it upside down, so I'm going to turn it like so. Give it a good push, make sure it's actually in there. And it is. Now, before I go any further, and I'll hook it all up, we're going to go ahead and test the light, make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. Um, actually, I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to go ahead and just plug this into the receiver. Now, to plug it into the front goes just like so. It's pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and run the wiring back through, and then we'll do that from the top where it's a little more comfortable. Plugging it in from the top, pretty simple to do. Uh, all you want to do is put it in. You can't put it in backwards because it has this little retaining clip here. So we'll just plug it in. And there you heard the click. That's always a good thing. And then you just simply push it in like so. Now I'm going to leave it hang out a little bit because I want to test it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in the truck, hit it a couple times, and we'll see what it looks like. You'll see it before me. Okay, you can see there it works awesomely. Um, just to run through the functions of it real quick, it does have the strobing brake light. It strobes on the first hit, if you will. Uh, it does have the reverse light, you could see. And this thing, I don't know if the camera does it justice, but it is very, very bright. And it does flash when you lock and unlock the truck. Pretty cool. Now, all we have left to do is secure it. That's pretty easy. Wire tie it underneath there a little bit. And go ahead and push this in. I'm going to put it in at the moment without the, the pin, and we're going to see how it is without it. The reason I'm doing that is in case you wanted to pull it out for some reason quickly, maybe you're going to hook something up to it, yeah, you wouldn't have to screw around with that pin, and I don't think anybody can get it out otherwise. But let's go ahead, push it in, and there you go. I mean, that's it. It sits in there just like that. Um, you can adjust it a little bit. 
it does move a little. Actually, those pens catch it right there so that it sticks out a little bit. Um, maybe you guys can see it kind of sticks out on the edge a little bit. So it does protrude, but it is in there. It's not going to come out unless you push on the two uh, little clips on the inside. Remember I showed you those little tabs you could break off? Uh, those actually grab the holes, so you could push on them on the inside to pull it out. And that makes for quick release in case you want to use the hitch for some reason. Anyway, that is the, uh, what I'm going to call the fourth brake light slash reverse light uh, on the Toyota Tacoma. Let me know if you have this. Check it out. Again, it comes from Di Diode Dynamics. Pretty cool product. I like it. Anything to give you a little more visibility when you're backing up at night or even for safety, I guess, if uh, you're hitting the brakes out in traffic. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.